Party for the dollar What's up everyone, it's Dom the Tastemaker and welcome back to my channel. Today you guys, I'm doing a review for Jita Hair and today I'm reviewing this gorgeous blonde highlighted unit. It's like a honey blonde type of highlighted unit. I really do like this and I do currently have it in 24 inches, so it's 24 inches long. I'm not sure on the density for this unit, however, this did come in a body wave type of texture and it was so beautiful. Like As soon as I saw it, I knew I was gonna love it. I absolutely love this color on my skin tone. I think it looks great. So today I styled it in just like a simple, you know, side part and I did like some baby hairs over here. Quality is so good. I love how silky straight it flat ironed. It looks so beautiful. And on this side, I do have all of the hair to the side. So I'm gonna pull it over to where you guys can see like both sides. So the only reason why I had pulled it over for a second there is just because I didn't want to look like I didn't have any like top on. Because <laughs> when I cover it up like this, it just, you know, so that's why I pulled it off to the side like that. So yeah, this is what it's giving, but it's so silky straight, you guys. Like look how silky this hair is. I absolutely love it. It has such a gorgeous flow to it. It looks so healthy. And if you guys notice, I didn't like go too crazy with the heat protectant spray. Normally what I would do is I would like spray every single section, but today I just went ahead and, you know, I did like an all over like spray and then I went ahead and flat ironed the hair instead of going through each section. So with that being said, this unit does have a a great natural luster to it although I did use a little bit of heat protecting to it it didn't really make that big of a difference another thing that I like about this hair when you flat iron it it doesn't have a bunch of flyaways that's definitely an issue that I come across with a lot of units that you end up having a lot of flyaways especially at the top like even down to the very ends you guys can see like how silky straight that is you don't have to worry about it like frizzing up on you because a lot of times with certain straight hair like every time you like turn your head or flip your hair around you'll notice like the hair is starting to bunch up it gets like you know kind of frizzy and everything like that so i like the fact that this one is just silky all the way around like if i flip my hair to the back you guys can see like there's no you know you see how silky that is no matter how many times i flip my hair it doesn't get like all frizzy in the back and I am gonna stand up just so you guys can see where this hair is hitting on me. This unit is 24 inches and this is where it's hitting on me. It's very long. It's so lengthy to be a 24 inch, even though I am short. And you guys can see like how silky it is. It's just like really, really long though to be 24 inches. And I'm 5'2", but I've had plenty of like 24 inch units and they don't look like this, so. That's definitely a plus for me. This is where it's hitting me in the front, so you guys can see. It's pretty lengthy. So yeah, if you're someone who likes really long units, but you wanna save some money, I would definitely check this one out because this is a 24 inch and it's so long, it's so healthy all the way around. Even with them like coloring the hair and everything, it doesn't look like all frizzy because a lot of times when you have like lighter colored units or anytime the hair is processed, it usually changes like the texture of the hair. It makes it a little bit more crunchy, but this one, you don't have that issue at all. The blonde pieces or the honey blonde pieces in the hair are just as smooth and silky as the natural colored pieces in it and I really really like the color job on this unit now although this unit is a 13 by 4 unit one of the things that I will want to point out is that it's not a true 13 by 4 because the parting space on the side is very minimal so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that really quickly and like zoom you guys in so, yeah. so this is the front and this is where the tracks start so you guys can even see like from here it's like 
I don't even know if it's exactly an inch or so, but they definitely skimp you out on the side right there. So that's why even when I did this part, I kind of brought it up and then curved it a little bit. So it can just look like I have the deeper parting space than what I actually have because you just get very minimal parting. So that's one of the things that like, I'm not like a huge fan of that, but you know, that's kind of common with a lot of these 13 by four units. Very rare that you get a unit that's like a true 13 by four. So I always like to point that out for you guys so you guys can know like what the parting space is like because you know, a lot of times we get these units and we're expecting one thing and then we get another. And the only reason why I mention that is because if you're trying to do a certain style, that might actually affect, you know, what style you can actually do with the unit. But it's still just better to have that extra room on the side, you know, if you do want to have that space on the side. Because when I did my side part, you guys see like how far up I had to put the part. I had to put it way up here and then curve it. Because if I were just to put it straight back, it would have stopped right here this would have just been the part alone you know and that's not four inches that's more like an inch so curving the part definitely gives you the illusion of having a deeper parting space but when i wear this unit i don't know why i just really like it off to the side like this i feel like it looks better like this even though this isn't like the actual style that i put it in but i really really like it and then you know like i said i added these baby hairs in it I like how they turned out. I think they turned out pretty good. And I did use the Ebon Wonder Lace Adhesive Spray in the red can. I'm literally out of this thing. I bought a new can today and I bought some got to be. So that way, if I wanna like do curls or something again, I can just use the got to be for that. And then use this strictly just for applying my units because there's no way that I'm already out of this and I just got this can. Like you guys can look at like my past couple videos and you'll be like, yeah, she only filmed like oh, so many videos with this. So yeah, it's already gone. On. To do my baby hairs though, I did use my mini pink diamond flat iron. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love this mini flat iron. I do sell this on my website, so if you guys are interested in checking this out, I think I might have like two left, but if not, then it's sold out. Because a lot of my flat irons and hot combs and everything have completely sold out. I'm like gonna restock, but I'm gonna restock um, in like a, I'm gonna restock every, the whole website like once everything sells out. So I still have lashes that need to sell out. I still have like a couple spray bottles that need to sell out. But once everything sells out, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a whole full restock of the whole website. So I only have a couple more items left anyway, so it shouldn't be too much longer. Shout out to Gita Hair because a lot of times like they be having like some really good units like y'all really need to check them out if you haven't checked them out now is your opportunity to give them a chance if you're interested definitely check out that description box down below for a direct link to this unit along with all the details to this hair if there was something that i didn't cover in today's video and you still have a question go ahead and drop a comment down below i want to give a big shout out to gita hair and of course all of my beautiful subscribers out there for showing me so much love and support and i'll see all of you beautiful people in my next one bye